what is up guys this is danish from do tech and welcome back with a brand new video so in this video i have more new tweaks to share with you guys which is going to be compatible with the ios 9.3.5 with that being said let's get it started all right so i'm going to be start with the first tweak that i have for you guys in today's video which is going to be support the 9.3.5 which is going to be the like and that tweak is going to be for your switcher as you guys can see here is compatible with the uh, most the 64 and 32 bit devices as you guys can see here so if we jump right now let me just go back to the home screen here and if i want to open my switcher it's going to be pop up with my control center as you guys can see so easily you can uh, use your switcher as you guys can see here and then uh, you will be have a visual or most of the settings on your control center if you uh, swipe up down that's going to be giving you some additional features so uh, let me just swipe down here so uh, we have the respring we have the reboot power off and some other options let me just jump right now into the settings to show you guys most of the things there all right so under the settings as you guys can see here we have more than section i'm not going to be go through a lot of things and waste your time but i'm going to be just go through some uh things here so you need to toggle on toggle some stuff here you can go through a lot of stuff this is uh, most the thing for your swipe down for the menu respring reboot power off the same one that i show you uh on a switcher this is the app switcher layout so you can switch that from uh, layout to another layout as you guys can see here and this is going to be uh, the layout section the other section we have the up switcher effects here also it's available and as you guys can see we have a lot of layouts sections here even we have the icon on labels you can uh, toggle those because i like it and uh, if you go back you have the control center so you can enable that at uh, the time that you open or you try to open your switcher the blur uh, for your background also and that is a lot of things as i told you guys so you can go through once you're done from everything this is how it's going to be it looks like when you want to open your switcher or your control center if you want to enable that in your iDevice make sure to give it a try because really nice and beautiful to set it on your iDevice Lily all right so the second CDA tweak that I have for you guys in today's video which is going to be support the 9 uh, iOS 9 or the 9.3.5 which is going to be the sir doc here and that tweak has been from a long time ago and as you guys can see is going to be giving you a nice layout for your dog this is one of the things that i use right now and then even you can switch and use another style so if you want to go right now and uh, go to the search dock settings here as you guys can see we have two uh, sections uh, this is the main section which is going to be the enable application and then the other one is going to be for the settings so if I want to jump right now, easily you can uh, enable the apps that you want uh, here and then uh, you can bring those to the top section which is going to be the enable section and this is the disable section here. So if you want to go back right now and jump into the settings, this is the style that I use. Easy if you want to go right now to the type here is going to be giving you a lot of style and I think most of the people they know how to use that. Some other extra features we have here in the bottom you can go through there is a lot. So once you are done you need to just make sure to save all the settings hit respring so your device will be take the effect and this is how it's going to be it looks like when you use the Serdoc on your iDevice make sure to give it a try Serdoc. okay so the next one that i have for you guys in today's video which is going to be the mini time basically what is that week is going to be providing you with is going to be bring the uh, time or the uh, time that you have on your lux screen pretty small and then you have more than uh more than a style so as you guys can see right now i use the tweak and this is what the tweak is going to be provide me with on my lock screen 
So if we go right now to the minute time under the settings, uh, the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak and it's going to be giving you the time style, which is going to be the simple style. And then you have the multi style here. And then also it's going to be the simple style. Some sections here, if you want to go through and customize some stuff, the other one, which is going to be the MIUI style. Also, if you want to go to enable that, uh, first of all, and then you can go in through a lot of some customized stuff. Here we have the others, which is going to be if you want to hide the some sliders, the unlock, or you want to hide the charge, or you want to hide some other stuff, which is going to be on your status bar, the down, uh, as I told you guys here, the slider to unlock, so you can uh, toggle and hide all those settings if you want your black screen to be clear and just show up the time that you have and uh, after you're done from everything you need to just make sure to resupring your device and apply all the changes and this is how it's going to be it looks like the same stuff that i already shown you this is how it's going to be this time and the date here as you guys can see so it's pretty cool stuff if you want to download it on your 32-bit device. I highly recommend you guys to give it a try many time. So the next CD tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be the power tap. And basically what is that tweak is going to be providing you with is going to be providing you with some extra stuff that is going to be came with your power button. Let me just go right now, first of all, on the... Uh, the settings to show you guys most the things and then after that I'm going to be showing you guys the style of that tweak. So first of all, if you want to allow the reboot, respring and into safe mode, you can just toggle those. And then the other section, which is going to be if you want to customize the tricks, text here so you can customize that. Let me just go right now to my home or the power barn here and then just keep press on it to show you guys what is the most the thing so as you guys can see this is the slide to power off if i want to tap here it's going to be give me to reboot if i type here uh, it's going to be giving me the other option which is going to be to respring if i tap here it's going to be give me uh, the other option which is going to be the save mode and uh this is how it's going to be goes so this is pretty much what is that week is going to be uh, providing you with so as I told you guys, the most the things that we have with that tweak, the extra features that we have, the settings, it's really amazing. If you want to give it a try, it's really nice to download it on your iDevice. Give it a try, power tap. The next CD tweak that I have for you guys in today's video, which is going to be the tinge. And what is that tweak is going to be providing you with, it's going to be uh, colorize or allow you to colorize some... Uh, uh, toggles on your switchers and uh, I'm gonna be showing you guys right now first of all under the settings and to show you what is the tweak is gonna be providing you with so once you jump on the, the uh, tweak the first thing that you need to do to enable the tweak from here and this is the main color so if you want to go and choose the color that you want is gonna be providing you with a lot of colors as you guys can see here and once you choose the color from here let me just choose one of the colors this is the blue here and this is the custom color also if you want to enable that and if you want to choose or customize the color that you want so it's going to be available with a lot of colors here go back choose your color or choose your favorite color and then this is how it's going to be looks like also i told you already about the custom color so you will be able to custom and colorize any kind of color and you can put it on your toggles so this is what pretty much the tweak is going to be providing you with which is going to be really amazing if you want to set it on your iDevice make sure to give it a try because it's really nice and this is the tweak right there tinge I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like the video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for my channel for more videos. And I see you guys in the next video. Peace.